Oh, be careful there, banana na 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 You've got to make up your mind. If you want to go through, and you want to step into the, the, the tube, then you got to just make a couple more steps, okay? Oop! <laughs> oh my gosh! I have never done that before! Oh my word! That was wild! No wonder he was hesitating, because I would hesitate to get yeeted all the way down here, too! Oh my gosh. All right, what should we put down here now that a whole bunch of the puppies are like actually hanging out? Ooh, I think, how about wide stance so that we can try to get more width on our dogs? And how about some of that like, well, actually that's narrow stance or wide stance. That could be a problem. Uh-huh. I'm really going for having, we don't want narrow stance, that's for sure. Thick legs, glossy sheen, inverted snout, wide stance, big nose. Short body, tiny wings! Oh, we need to get a dog with wings. Uh, let's have some pumpkin pie down here. I really hope I don't regret this. Oh my gosh, and how did you get under there, Sentry Feather? I can't believe you're like hiding under the computer like a some sort of cat. Oh my gosh. Well, everyone, hello and welcome back to the wacky wild world of Waddle Dogs, where we are actually going to start trying to tidy things up, build some themes to each one of our Wobble Dog rooms, and of course, breed up a few more unique puppies before we see the end of a few of our wonderful dogs like Penafor. Penafor is actually getting old enough that we are going to be losing Pinafore soon, guys, which I just don't think is fair. And also we're going to be losing Leafeon. And we actually haven't had any pups with Leafeon, I think. And I think between Pinafore and Leafeon, <gasps> Pinafore, go, 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 go. All right, go, go, go. Pinafore, Leafeon, boom. Oh my word. <laughs> We got it just in time. I guess we don't have any other choice. We're just gonna have to roll with these two and see where things take us. But like I said, welcome back to season two of Wobble Dogs, where we are indeed going ahead and trying just to create all sorts of chaos while we are on the search for wings and trying to unlock very wide dogs. Not that any of these guys, these guys are kind of like noodles. This is a pile of noodles and we need like, I don't know. A chunk in pizza? Like, what's a wide food? What is a wide food? You don't see it, but I'm staring into the distance now, trying to figure it out. Everything I'm thinking of as wide is actually long, like a fruit roll up or something, which I haven't had in like 20 something years. <laughs> uh. A wide food? A cracker? <laughs> oh no! If you guys know, like, an example of a wide food, let me know. But until then, we've got a pile of noodles! An adorable pile of noodles that we're gonna go ahead and maybe, uh, unless I fall in love with one of these guys, we might actually get a chance to go ahead and breed down. They have huge tails, that's so cute. To a low enough stability level that we might actually manage to get our hands on a winged dog. I don't know if these guys are hiding the jeans. We're gonna see. But we're gonna keep going as far as we can go or until I fall in love, like whichever comes first. And usually I fall in love very easily. So we'll have to see. All right, little tiny nose on this one. Oh my gosh. Leafeon, you would have such a cute kid. And what is something that makes me think about Pinafore? Probably this one with the curly tail. I'm gonna miss Pinafore, because Pinafore just kept, like, mutating every time they, they stumbled out of their pupation spot. They just kept mutating into a dog I didn't expect over and over again. Getting very long. I don't even think we had that many french fries out either. All right, let's grab you. And let's grab you. And then, oh wow, that one has brown ears. That is pretty unusual, actually. I don't often see ones with brown ears. I wonder if we'll get to keep that trait. The coat colors change so often. I don't normally, ooh, I really like that light blue. I don't normally get too excited about like the coat and ear and arm colors, but we're getting some really unusual ones here. And I need to look out for like horns or a dog missing a left front leg, which we're still like trying to do. I really like the blue. 
I didn't expect to like it that much, but I really do like the little blue heads. Let's see. Go with these two. All right, come on, puppers. Oh, we're starting to get down there now, you guys. Okay, that's actually really exciting. Also, that's a very small dog. We really do have just like a pile of noodles. All right. Does this one have horns? Instead of ears? You guys! You guys, hang on! I think we just got our first, like, horned wobble dog! Instead of ears! Does anybody else have that trait? This is the only one... It has... It has... No, I think it has different ears! It has different ears, you guys! Okay, we cannot risk letting that trait go by. Thank you, Pinafore! I don't know what we're going to name this little one, but Pinafore has at least left behind a little puppy with super unique ears. We're starting to see so many new traits. Ah, Pinafore! Oh, Pinafore, rest in pieces. Let me see. Can I, can I incubate your child? We can. We have so many dogs to incubate, but we can at least say goodbye to Pinafore. Pinafore! <laughs> and Pinafore ate a lot of stuff, so we might even be able to leave behind uh, at least a few gut bacteria to pass on to their child. Wow. Well, well, friends, now we're going to have little pointy ears. I might be able to do something with, like, Sentry Feather and their tails. I need to make their tails big. And now we have, hello, little one. We're going to go ahead and name one of these guys after you guys, with the random comments generator having picked Lepidoptera. What a fun thing, because you say Wobble Dogs is your favorite, so I'm really happy you're here. And we're actually going to name this one, uh, let's go Litera. Litera. Oh, that sounds like such a fun name. All right, Litera, are you managing to get over here before everybody else? Like, hurry, hurry, Latera. Back off, Celery. Okay, Celery and Leafeon and Banana, -na 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 -na, you are. No, did you see Celery steal? Oh my gosh. Did you see Celery actually come over and steal a, a, a like, no, Celery, drop it. Drop it. All right, Banana, -na -na, no! Banana, -na -na, you're not supposed to be so old that you go ahead and you puppy already. Oh my god, or like you're gonna die already. We already. No, Leafeon, Leafeon! Oh my gosh! No, get out of here, Joy! You're an adult! This is this is young puppies only zone for being able to go ahead. No! I miss Leafeon! Oh my gosh! Okay, I'm desperately trying to grab Go away, Joy! You literally have smushed the others. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's see. Hurry! Oh my gosh, I'm trying so hard to feed these puppies. So they have a chance of getting some of these genes. But I guess this must just be like irresistible to the other dogs. Because they are just running over here as quickly as they can. Alright. And now Sentry Feather. No, Sentry Feather, eat it, eat it. Celery, you drop this. Celery. Celery, drop. Drop. Oh, oh my gosh. Alright, I think we got a little bit in there. Phew. Okay. So let's get Sentry Feather up and puppated. There we go. And now we actually have Celery the Fifth, who is ready for some pupation. We'll let you go ahead and finish eating. And then we will puppate the tiny puppy Celery the Fifth, who is so freaking cute. Uh, and we lost Leafy on you guys. <laughs> We're losing our pup so fast. And apparently, Banana -na 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 is about to go. So before we lose Banana -na 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 -na, let's actually take our ancient boy Banana -na 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 -na, and let's run over and we're gonna grab Joy because I think Joy is just huge. This is the biggest contrast between the dogs that I can think other than like Citrus Bean. Maybe Citrus Bean and Joy would have a wide enough child. Maybe. But we brought Banana -na 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 back to honor the start of season two, thinking that, ooh, you're so cute. Thinking that we would be able to go ahead and we would be able to celebrate with big old wide dogs with very oh that's a different kind of tail too. Oh my gosh, I don't even know who to pick first. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. I want these two. 
I thought we would get really wide dogs, but I have already doomed us to very tiny dogs with huge curly tails and and little little blue bodies. And I literally have no problem with this. I'm actually in love. And the tiny, tiny, tiny head that Banana Nana has might need to be passed on. I think Banana Nana may have actually kicked off some of the celery line. Oh, they're so cute, you guys. Look at how small they are. Oh, they're so precious. Our tiny little wobbly dog beans. They look like you could just like hold them in your hand and kind of give them a little cuddle. I'm just kind of going with my heart at the moment, trying to keep the multiple heads. They're extremely glossy bodies. Let's see, and the curly tails, the curly little squirrel tails. I cannot believe where where this is going. <laughs> All right, let's keep the squirrel tails. Let's keep the fun pattern. Okay, we're almost losing the pattern. We'll try to gain it back. I think we're doing pretty good. The, the stability of this is actually pretty astounding, to be honest. All right. So help me if these guys decide like to grow wings or to mutate wings, I'm gonna be really happy. Okay, we're still there with the curly tails. Got you and you. And then I wonder what I would name this one, like a blue fruit? What's a blue fruit? Blueberry? Hmm. Let's see. Let's go with these two. Do you guys want to puppy something really unusual or are we pretty content here? I think they're pretty content, but we're gonna just carry on. This is not, I really thought Banana Nana -na -na would help us have a really wide dog. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like that's the case. However, maybe we'll, we're definitely getting something else from this event. All right, let's try these two. I really like the head on that one. They're all starting to look kind of the same. Oh! <laughs> and here we go. Okay, I don't exactly know what we have created, but we have created our final puppers. So this is one of our little itty bitty pups from ba -da 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 -da. Should we go ahead and try to make another one? I mean, I suppose. Because we did bring ba -da 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 back to celebrate like season two. It's just, there's a lot of responsibility happening here. Let's bring Sentry Feather in because I would love to get closer to having those big old, that big old beautiful tail. Mm, ah, just a little closer. I love that little tiny smile. Itty bitty, itty bitty, teeny tiny nose. Sentry Feather's probably gonna have just the most fascinating pups when the time comes. And then itty bitty, teeny tiny celery the fifth. Let's see how you're doing, my dear. Eh, you're so cute. Basically just got a little bit bigger and shorter. <laughs> no, Body size went up, but literally everything else went down. Oh my goodness. Where did you come from, Celery? All right, and then let's finish up today because Banana Nana is about to check out, bless his heart. Um, how about we have Banana Bean? Citrus Bean, because we've had Joy and we haven't had Citrus Bean have any pups yet. They're both fruit. So why don't we have banana bean? Oh my word, you're huge. What if we just try going for a really like big wide dog? Maybe that'll work? Let's see what happens here. Okay, these guys are such a contrast to the dogs we just had, but I think we might be onto something here. <gasps> I think we might be onto something here. Maybe we needed to kind of go in a different direction where to get the wide. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's the first set of wings. It's the first set of wings. It's a banana gnat. <laughs> Should I breed them? No, no I shouldn't. This is the first set of wings we have ever had on a dog. It is our first winged dog, you guys. Oh, oh wow, oh wow. Okay, like a little dragonfly? 
a, a, a banana fly. No, wait, that banana wing? What am I gonna name you? Probably maybe banana wing. That or nana wing? Nana wing! That sounds really. I I could live with that. Oh wow! I really hope the dessert dispenser unlocks soon, so that we can go ahead and see if there is some sort of mutation that you can give your dogs to have bigger wings. Because what? What? Oh my word! All right, quick over to the jungle because I feel like this one needs to be born in the jungle. And it's our first winged dog! Yes! It has been so much harder to get to this stage than I thought it would be. But we are about to hatch our very first winged wobble dog. It's actually going to be kind of a giant, so I'm a little hopeful about that. Um, and then let's see. Is there anything I need to clean up in here? I feel like I'm going to go ahead and remove all of the cocoons that aren't in Cocoon World. Just because. And then we'll have to figure out like a food theme for each room. Uh, but it's our first winged dog! I knew you had it in you, but no, 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 no! I knew you had something in you! Yes! Oh my gosh! Okay! So now we have Nana! Let's, let's do Nana Wing! Nana Wing! Welcome! Welcome! And with this, we have accomplished the task, take to the skies, hatch a dog with wings. The doggy launcher! Oh my gosh, I wonder what that does. This is gonna be so much fun. But we have our very first winged wobble dog! Welcome to Nana Wing, our little banana gnat, which is weirdly fitting for some reason. And I'm so proud of Citrus Bean. <gasps> Hang in there, Cloud Dots! <laughs> but alright guys, thank you so much for joining me. This is wonderful. We're just walking our newly hatched puppy into a tree. That's fine. <laughs> If you guys could, do please leave a like for our Wobble Dog adventures. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more, do please consider subscribing. Oh dear, I'm a little worried about this puppy, but there we have it. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye